Can money be controversial? It can when you're talking about a possible digital currency version of America's currency, the digital dollar. Welcome to Economics Made Simple. Please remember to like this video and click that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any future episodes. To help explain central bank's digital currency and why it's proving to be so contentious, we've brought in a special guest. Thanks, I'm glad to be back again. Central bank digital currencies are digital versions of the official currencies issued by central banks around the world. Proponents of the technology say that overall efficiency of payment systems would be greatly improved. They also say that central bank digital currencies could provide greater financial inclusion to populations that don't have access to traditional banking. Observers additionally point out that digital dollars could enable the government and the Federal Reserve to apply fiscal and monetary policy measures in a faster and more complete way. For example, if the government wanted to deliver stimulus checks to citizens in the event of another economic emergency, those payments could be made directly into the digital currency accounts of everyone. I have to admit, that does sound pretty good. So where's the controversy? As I alluded to, digital dollars issued to the public would require that each citizen keep an account at the Federal Reserve. That means the central bank theoretically could see how every user is spending their money. That's not all. Central banks, or even governments, could control how citizens spend their money. Misgivings about the potential privacy implications of central bank digital currencies are so widespread that a number of elected officials in the U.S. have introduced legislation designed to stop the development of a digital dollar in its tracks. And even one Federal Reserve official has voiced his objections to digital dollars on the basis of the potential risk to financial privacy. Whoa, that does sound like a big deal. So is there anything else? As a matter of fact, there is. Earlier, I mentioned that one of the perceived benefits of digital dollars is that they could provide the government and Federal Reserve with a more efficient and complete way to apply fiscal and monetary policy stimulus. But some experts say that could include especially drastic forms of such stimulus, including significantly negative interest rates. With deeply negative interest rates, bank depositors can be charged interest instead of receive interest on their money. The monetary policy purpose of doing that is to incentivize people to spend their money in the economy rather than save it. That if everyone was required to effectively keep their cash on account at the Federal Reserve, it would be particularly easy for the central bank to apply such measures. Okay, so maybe there is more than meets the eye when it comes to digital dollars. Yes, you're absolutely correct. At last check, well over 100 countries, representing 98% of the world's GDP, are exploring a central bank digital currency, and some nations already have launched one. The U.S. is one of those nations exploring a central bank digital currency, but all involved agree that there are a lot of issues that have to be resolved before digital U.S. dollars become a reality. It seems there's always another side to the technological innovations designed to make life simpler and more efficient. Well, once again, Jane, thanks for all the great insight. Of course. As always, it's been my pleasure to be here. That'll do it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and watch for more Economics Made Simple.